Alright everyone, Sheik uh, Hogan here, everybody for the festival. So, today we are finally back to Forza Horizon 4, taking a look at a brand new car, and driving, as usual. So, today is a very special one because apparently Forza thinks it's funny to make you race in the middle of winter with a rear wheel drive car on S2 class with a lot of power. Yeah. I'm talking about the race to get this particular car, the brand new car from 2020, the, the new world breaker. The Konisek Jesco. Yes, that's right, this car last year break the world record for land speed of the car of 311 miles per hour so that means that's around 500 kilometers I believe let me have a, a calculator here for that I'm going to have a look at professional work because it's just works okay all right, how much is it? 311 miles per hour. So yeah, just above 500 kilometers. Yeah, we... Car company finally make it beyond 300 miles per hour. Would you believe that if, you, if we said that like 10 years ago? No way you be would believe that, but we finally Break, break the 300 miles per hour not we the car company because we don't do anything we just watch them doing it <laughs> but seriously that is a really far technology advancement all right so yeah really seriously congrats for breaking 500 kilometers per hour that is really tough to break trust me so yeah Anyway, let's talk about the car here. This is the Konexec Jesco. It's an S2 class, and I, I don't think it's the same spec. No, I, the engine is still the same spec, but some stuff is not exactly the same spec. Like, it's already not really high on S2. You can lower it by making it a dirt tire compound, but well, I don't really recommend you guys to use a dirt tire compound on this car. <laughs> It's already come with a uh, nice tire compound, or if you want to call it a slick tire. So it's already really grippy, but not as grippy as I want <laughs> because it's still really crazy. So yeah, let's have a look around here. This particular livery here, okay, is created by Salt Shaker for T145. And it's based on Yuyuko from Toho. Not sure which one, but oh my god, the snow is flooding everywhere right now, so it kind of ruins the paint job. But uh, you know what? I'll try to show you the best. If, oh my god, there is so many snow on this thing. Wow. Okay. So as you can see, let's just from the side immediately. Yeah, this is not the best. I'm going to clean it up a little bit here from a bunch of snow. Is it cosmetic damage? Thank you very much. Yeah, but very professional work. <laughs> very professional work. Oh my. As you can see, on the right side, and on the side, we have Yuyuko's face stamped on the car. And surprisingly really well, even though there is some contour, a sexy contour from the car itself. Yes, I know this is not how it should look like from the factory, but well. I like it, Dasha, so I do what I want. So, yeah, it's right there. And as you can see, there is a small indicator here. Because it's mandated on America. And the brake caliper is paintable. So, you can paint the brake caliper on, on this car. And yes, you can, you, you can really change it. It's already on race setup. Like, most of the stuff on this car is already on race setup from the factory. At least in this game, that's how they say it. But... Yeah, it's just 
that the, the factory setup from the car is really crazy already. And, and yes, they have a specific setup for the world record, the, the speed world record, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to drive it and make it for racing. And on the top, it's not much really, just a bunch of lines, but it's not bad. And there is that, the side that you can find the artwork that it's based on, which is pretty rare for a lot of a lot of artists on this game, a livery creator on this game, making making a credits for making a credits or making a pointer where you can find the real artwork. But sometimes they're just making it from scratch. But other times they do make it based on someone else. So this game is really nice. <laughs> Soul Shaker is really nice to provide a resource so you can find the real artist and you can maybe appreciate the artwork in a higher, a higher resolution. That is the artist, it's Kurone Ke. Ko oh, God damn it. Kurone Kone. Kone. Kurone Kone underscore throw. Oh my god, so hard. That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Oh, I like that. And yeah, there is that there, and well, on the rear, let's go on the rear. We have the beast, this big wing, it's an active arrow by the way, as you can see there. <coughs> and on the support beam for the wing, yes, this is not spoiler, this is wing at this point. It has the Koenigsegg logo, which is really cool. Koenigsegg badging, and yes, the ghost as well is there. There is a history on that, but you can find uh, find about that history on the internet. I don't exactly remember what it's all about, but it's a really interesting history because they used uh, an aircraft hangar for their factory. Yes, there's a lot of carbon fiber on the wing as well, and some wing paint here. This is an active air, but you will see it in action when I'm driving fast, hopefully. So yeah, hopefully we can see that. The rear is really crazy as well. It, it it's, has a really big hole. And the badge Jesco is attached to the mesh there. And this big thing here is the exhaust. Yes, that's right. Exhaust just not, not always co comes always in a circle. Well, then again. Supercar, hypercar stuff, you know. It's interesting to see this car manage to break through 300 miles per hour. That's really crazy. Bugatti also managed to do that, but this the the, the guy on Koenigsegg just one upping it almost immediately. But that's really good because they're competing each other. I really love them competing. Even though I don't really like the Bugatti grill that much. <laughs> I mean it's. I'm sorry, but I don't really like it that much, but, you know, overall, the Bugatti is just nice, but, honestly, Koenigsegg managed to make it look so sexy. Look at that curve. It's just so good. Whoever designed Koenigsegg is really lovely. And yes, there is the upper roof as well there. You can see the engine right there and there is the suspension setup there as well. That has a built-in roll cage as well, so that's why there is no option in Forza, I think. I kind of re I don't remember about that, but yeah. I didn't really turn up that much on this car. Like it's already high up in there and I cannot really add more power because the other option or option is to add the engine power which I don't do and so this comes from the factory with the power of 954 kilowatts and there are some minor adjustments so probably it's not exactly from the factory in terms of the wakes and stuff but torque is 1198 newton meter which is kind of troublesome for a real drive to order <laughs> to be honest but it's fine because this car focus is speed not corner even though I don't really like that. And the weight, I believe I reduced it by 2 kilograms. So it's 1,418 kilograms. For factory, it's 1,420. 
this the front displacement is more or less the same this the front the weight distribution is always um more or less the same so yeah and you you can get this from the seasonal playlist this week which gonna end tomorrow yeah oh uh, get it yourself fast so anyway is this a high speed car right oh by the way how many gear does this thing have so i kind of forgot it has nine gear right away crazy i know like all this time i know stick shift only goes to five maximum seven for some german cars but this car doesn't use stick shift it use pedal shifter but is it dual clutch i don't know but it's one hell of a car and it accelerates really fast even for in this game it accelerates really fast on on high speed so this car will fight something like intense intense emozione the aerial atom because it counts as extreme track toys and it's i believe it's legal on the road so it's something all right like some sometimes extreme track toys won't, won't be legal on the road like this falcon here this car are not allowed on the road by the way because it doesn't fulfill the road regulation but some others will be allowed on the road like most some of most of the car like hell apparently oh wait this is all out i see but uh, let's see um filter um right extreme track toy extreme track toy Let's not filter that actually. Uh, <laughs> I just woke up. Sorry about that, but um, car type. So yeah, as you can see, something like the Vulcan AMR Pro. Uh, maybe what else? I'm not sure. Why do I have two MC12? But some of the car, even a spec for a race car like this Diablo GTR. Well, th this one is only available in the factory right now. <laughs> the Volkswagen Motor IDR. Electric vehicle, by the way. Don't really like the sound. Like, this, there is none of it. Oh yeah, that, like this Ferrari FXX, it's also only allowed on the track, I believe. And, yeah, some, some of the external track toys uh, are not even allowed on the road, but some, it's allowed. Okay, let's drive this 2020 Jesco on the drag race in on a straight-ish line because it's a highway on the UK and it's not straight. Uh, you'll see how it launched itself. It it's like a rocket. Like once it gets going from full gear, oh boy, it's just accelerating non-stop. It's crazy. I mean. The yeah, AI would be really cheating usually on this game, but let's see how it goes. Hopefully it won't cheat that much. Like this focus hour using all wheel drive. As you can see, Active Arrow is already doing the work now to give some downforce. Once it uh, hits a, a certain speed, I believe it will be... It will be... Uh, Trying to stack on up to give more stability instead of downforce. But yeah, we're already on 300. Okay, we're already 400 kilometers. So that's 240 miles per hour. This is not a world record breaking, but it does its job really well. Like, this is more on the handling side because, you know. At the end of the day, the one who drives it likes, likes a handling car than a speed car. And honestly, driving this car on high speed is actually stressful for me. Because it's just too fast for me. I'm not ready for this much power. 
As always, the the reason why only goes up to S1 class most of the time and rarely make an S2 race race car because they they are just too fast. At this for me, I prefer S1. S1 is just back in the middle between too fast and too much handling because A class usually either you have too much speed or you either you have too much handling. S2 class most of the time it's just too much speed and not not much handling. It's, it's ridiculous. You know what? It's fine. Like, Ducati is doing great. Oh, like the RNGs. I don't think I will get a car. Yep, as usual. All right, now let's jump onto the next race, shall we? All right, for our next race, we are gonna go on the one race for spin, and I'm going to set it on summer, obviously, because. I mean, I can drive on snow, but not on this much power, okay? I, I said that you can drive on this game with up to S1 class. On S2 class, with we roll drive on winter, yeah, no go. That's why I changed the weather. So, how about we add some more corners around here so we can see its performance while turning? This is won't be a long race, but we'll see about that. Like I'm still not too used with this car because how much power it has for a real drive, and it's still kind of want to fly around the crash sometimes because it's not enough downforce for, for this game apparently. Even though the car is has a good amount of downforce, well, not really because you know. Speed record, and I haven't done the downforce that much, so yeah. Yeah, it's really nerve wracking. Even the AI kind of goes out of control sometimes. Oh yeah, that's too fast. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Manixek. I didn't mean to break the car. Okay, too much power around the corner there. Yep. This car is really stressful to drive, trust me. I really don't like fast car like this. It's just too fast for me. F1 is not as fast as this. Oh my god, why why am I breaking so late there? I'm not even bothered to try to stop it from a lower gear. It's just too much. But yeah. It requires a lot of concentration. I cannot talk too much when I'm trying to drive one of these. It's stressful. I mean, it's good that they managed to get this fast, but... For me, it's just not stressful to drive. So yeah, I know I'm not driving really well, but... I can't blame the car as well. This is just my ability. It's way beyond my limit. I still plus I really hate to drive it honestly. It's just too fast sometimes. Ah yikes. See I'm telling you it's just too fast. I I cannot talk when I want to drive this car, okay? I full, I, if I give it my full focus, I would be fine, but the problem is I'm making a commentary on, while driving, so... Yeah... It's rough. <laughs> it's really rough. I mean, that's how amazing this car is. It, I mean, I like it because it's so good in terms of speed, but at the same time, I... Handling it, it's too much for me. Like... I am not ready for this amount of power, alright? Especially on the real drive. Even it's already used the uh, race tire and it's still really finicky to handle. Like, holy shit. And that's make it even worse because on the next one, we're going to go on the handling track of this game. Because it's a possibility. Oh boy. Can't wait to die. Yes, that's why the final race will be on Grindel Club Circuit. 
Uh, I'm killing myself on this track to be honest with this car. <laughs> Seriously, this car is not good for handling, alright. It's designed for straight line, not exactly for corners. I mean, it will be nice for corners, I guess, but extra skill required. And I don't have enough skill for that. So let's see how this goes. Car is fast, yes, but... Corners? How about corners? How about corners? Oh boy. And this place is really tight too, so... Alright, I'm not going to try to downshift there. Oops. But the Inexor is really nice even though you're, under, you're outside of the power band most of the time, but still. Right, I'm giving it on 5th gear. So it felt like a bit longer in terms of gearing. Because this car is just too fast. So it's, it, ooh, it's, it flies a little bit there. That's not good. Yeah, as you can see, it accelerates really fast. It's crazy. It even flies. Now I'm, I'm just trying to drive it as safe as I could because. You know, it's not exactly the safest car to drive. But then again, supercar. Mmm, yep too much that one is on me not the, not the car that was on me because you cannot hesitate with this car but the problem is it gives a lot of hesitation ah crap I'm just doing wrong all wrong now oh boy oh my god that if you have to that if you are speed 12 It's really harsh. This car is really harsh to drive. Uh, yeah, I should let it engine break to be honest, but... Oh, uh, yikes. Good thing a lot, lot of the Switch guys just stays with this car. I'm pretty sure if they try to drive it, they won't even be able to drive it. Trust me. Uh, you know what? I want a rematch. But this time, I'm not going to talk. Because... I'm pretty sure I could do better. In 49.1. Yeah, not good. <laughs> That's not good. We're slower than the AI. Somehow the Ford Mustang is... On... Um, on... The top spot. Oh well. This time, I'm just going to make it special. I'm not going to talk during the race. Hopefully, I could make it better. Who knows? So, <sighs> here we go. I hate when that happened. I'm a bit too greedy there. Let me retry.
Okay, that's the best I could do actually. <sighs> oh, that's really stressful. <laughs> See? I have a better time. 47.6. Even faster than the first place. It's really stressful. I could have gone to the first place, but the last one of the corner actually I hit the destructible object and it slows the car down immediately. But you know what? I'll take it actually. 27.6. I still get points if this is an F1 from last year. So whew. that was really rough. That that's a really rough drive for Rike. But you know what? Not bad. I mean, if I could get that much time with every real drive stuff, I think I could do better if it's much nicer in terms of handling. This car is just too wild for me. It's way too wild. But, you know what? I kinda like it, actually. I kinda like the adrenaline, but I hate it for commentary stuff because I cannot talk. I cannot talk at all if I want to drive good. I have to focus all of my body just to make sure I can corner correctly and I still make mistakes. Oh, <sighs> Then again, very real drive on this game is kind of rough. I don't know if it's on simulator like Assetto Corsa but you know what? It's a great car. You cannot deny its existence at all. It's a really great car. It corners Okay, actually, just have to handle it nicely because I already make the giving as long as I could and it's still kinda hard to do. Uh oh well. It's a great car, the Koenigsegg Jesco from 2020. Congrats to Koenigsegg by the way too for finally managing to go beyond 300 miles per hour. Congrats to him. Alright everyone, Shikai Hawken here reporting for the end of the world, I mean the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content, if you like it feel free to activate that like button. If you want to see more of my content, you can put a mark on my head with that subscribe button. And lastly, any kind of support and feedback would be really appreciated. So thanks for watching and remember, I'm keeping my eyes on you. Keep on living buddy.